Hi everybody, how do you show your understanding of composite demand on diagrams? Well, let's understand what composite demand means first. A good is said to be in composite demand when it has multiple uses. So let's look at wheat for example. Wheat can be used to make bread, it can also be used for livestock feed. So if demand for bread goes up, more wheat is going to be used to make that bread, there's going to be less wheat available for livestock feed. Right? So when demand for one goes up, good goes up, supply available will decrease because there will be less input, so less wheat available to make and to produce livestock feed. So on a diagram, how do we show that? Well, we have price on the y-axis and quantity on the x-axis, so this could be the market for bread. We're going to show initial equilibrium, where supply meets demand. We're going to have a price of P1 and a quantity of Q1. Let's now assume that demand for bread goes up, which leads to a higher quantity in the market, Q1 to Q2 and the price of bread going up from P1 to P2. To ensure that production can increase to meet Q2, more wheat would need to be used to make this bread. That reduces the supply of wheat available to make livestock, which reduces the overall supply of livestock in the market. So if a good is in composite demand like wheat, when demand for one product that uses wheat increases, supply of another product that also uses wheat will decrease. So on the right here, this might be the market for livestock feed. And now, because more wheat is being used here, there is less wheat available in this market. So let's draw an initial equilibrium. Demand supply, Q1, P1. What you need to do to show composite demand is that supply for livestock feed will decrease, leading to an increase in the price and a reduction in the quantity here. OK, so that's how you show composite demand. demand for one product going up, which requires more uh, of that given product, which is in composite demand, leads to a fall in the supply of another product, which also requires that input. Have we labelled our axis? Yes, we have. Have we labelled our curves? Yes, we have. Are all of our equilibria labelled? Yes, they are beautifully with arrows to show the changes there. That's how you show composite demand. Thanks very much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.